pen fans, this is your personal pen maker, Brian at the Edison Pen Company, edisonpen.com. Uh, hope everybody's doing really well. Uh, I have uh, an announcement for everybody. We now have Edison Stock Flex Nibs. Now these are not to be confused with Richard Binder Flex Nibs. I'll, in the second half of this video, I'll give you a comparison of all of these offerings that we have as far as flex goes. Uh, but for now, this new offering is a stock flex nib. Let me show you what it looks like. I'll show you how it performs, and then we'll get into a comparison of how these work versus regular non-flex gold nibs uh, and the Bender flex nibs. All right? Okay, here is this nib. Have a look at this. I think that you can see, maybe it's upside down, but the stamp says 14 karat. These are 14 karat nibs. They have the Edison logo, of course. And then um, I think that in this photo, you can see what makes this unique. It's that scallop that has been cut out of the wing of the nib. By cutting that scallop out, uh, you allow the nib to be more flexible. You, the tines will spread more and the tines will lift more by removing that material. And by having a look right here, you can see a better close-up of that. That's what makes this a flex nib. Now that's the only alteration to this. It doesn't have any thickness changed, which is more, um, more uh, characteristic of a vintage flex nib or what, also what Richard does for us. This nib, that's the alteration. The thickness throughout the nib is the same, but that scallop has been taken out of the wing. Okay, what do you think about that? Well, um, before I get too far down this road of these and comparing them, I want to have a discussion with uh, regarding, and maybe I'm coining these terms, I'm not sure that I've heard these before, but I really need to differentiate between the Bender Flex Nibs and what I'm going to call modern Flex Nibs. So the Bender Flex Nibs really are very reminiscent, if not perfect copies, of what vintage Flex Nibs were. Richard is doing an amazing job with heavy alterations, the curvature, the thickness, the feed. There's so many alterations done to those nibs that I'm going to give up two categories. I'm, I'm going to propose two categories. One is Vintage Flex, which is the Bender Flex Nibs, and the other is Modern Flex, which will be our normal standard 18 karat nibs and these new 14 karat uh, uh, Edison flex nibs. So vintage, modern. Let's discuss the differences. With modern flex, now these nibs included, um, and I'm pretty sure I'm speaking for basically every nib manufacturer out there that makes a modern flex nib. There's really two ways that I'm aware to create this flex nib. One is you make the slit longer. If you make the slit longer, then basically that allows the nib to bend a little bit more than what it normally would. The other method is to clip the wings, and that's what we've done with this nib. The, the wings have been clipped which basically removes enough material so that the, uh, the, the tines can spread more and they become more flexible. But no other, no other alterations have been done to these nibs except for that. Most importantly, the thickness of the nibs have not been altered. So this gives a decent flex nib. It's quite adequate for a modern nib. It's impressive. But I will say this, if what you're after is vintage flex, then what Mr. Bender does for us is just phenomenal. Like I said, he changes the curvature, he changes the thickness, he changes the feed, he changed, I mean, there's, there's probably, I'm gonna say five, six, or more different things that he does to alter these nibs to make them to be um, perfect emulations, if not better than, what, than, than a very, very good vintage flex nib. So there is a difference between the two. I want to establish that and kind of maybe come up with two categories, modern, Vintage. Now, even though these are modern nibs that Richard is making for us, he's taking a modern nib, he's altering it for us, I'm still going to call it vintage because it's so much like vintage flex. Okay? Okay, so let's see a comparison between the nibs that we offer that have uh, any kind of flex to them. This is going to be our standard 18 karat nib. Not altered for flex, it's just our normal 18 karat nib. This is a fine. I think you can see that you know there is line variation. It's not tremendous. It's got a good amount of good amount of flex, good amount of bounce. Not bad for a modern nib. Now let's take a look at a Edison stock flex. This is also a fine. This maxes out 
at about 1.4 to 1.5 millimeters. I'm not sure if I mentioned on this one, this maxes out at about um, 0.8.9, and this is 1.4, 1.5. Now let's take a look at a Bender Flex nib. Now this one, I need to slow down a bit on the uh, flex stroke because it does put out so much ink. You run a little risk of railroading if you uh, don't slow down when you flex. Little bit of railroad there. I probably could have slowed down a little bit more throughout those those uh, uh, strokes, but you get the idea. This is going to max out at about two millimeters. So between these three, I think you can see a clear difference. Um, if you know, obviously my camera doesn't do this total justice. What I will do is I will take a writing sample from these three pens. I'll scan it as a PDF and I'll put it up on our website. So if you're watching this on um, uh, YouTube or a blog reader or something along those lines, you can stop by edisonpen.com to see a scan of what this writing sample looks like. Other comparison, I think if I get close up, you can see the tines actually moving and I think that this might be better for this camera. This is a standard 18K nib. This is the Edison Flex Nib. And then Binder Flex. Okay, so now let's get into a discussion about which nib is right for you. Now, if we're going to have this discussion, remember, of course, the focus of this video is all about flex, okay? But it would be a disservice if I didn't throw steel nibs into the mix with this. If I'm going to discuss which nib is right for you, quite honestly, the majority of the time is probably not a gold nib, 18K, 14K, flex, whatever. The vast majority of our sales are steel nibs. So I think that this video really is more for the people that are interested in flex, but that is a small, that's a small percentage of, of, of people out there. Um, if you've ever, if you haven't read it, I recommend that you go to edisonpen.com. Under the resources tab, you'll see a tab that says articles. And in the articles, you'll see one that's called In Praise of Steel Nibs. If you haven't read that, I highly recommend it. I won't get into too much detail right here, but steel nibs are simply awesome. They've come a long way in the last 10, 20 years or so. Um, I always recommend, when I get the question, which nib should I get, I always recommend you go with steel first. Give it a try. We personally tune every nib before they go out the door. And then if, after trying that, you realize that, hey, maybe I do want a little bit more flex, then you can move up to one of these nibs that I'm discussing here. But remember, there's a significant price difference. So if this flex means nothing to you, you go with steel and you know, you're going to save a bit more money. We make more money selling 18 karat nibs, but I can't in good conscience recommend that for everybody because it's not the right choice for everybody. Most people, it's a steel nib. So that being said, steel nibs first. If you're into flex, let's, just, let, let's now discuss flex. The standard 18 karat nib, I probably don't need to get into too much detail about this. It's our stock nib. We've had it for years since the beginning of the company. It's you know a very good representation of what you should expect out of a modern flex nib. Um, it's got a little bit of bounce, it's got a little bit of flex. Uh, if you do want to exploit the flex, I recommend going with a fine or an extra fine. Uh, because when you get to a medium or a broad, the unflexed stroke is already pretty thick to begin with. You're not going to see much of that line variation. So if you are interested in that nib, that's, I mean, I, I, don't, th I don't think I need to get into too much detail. Most people understand exactly what to expect from our stock regular uh, 18 karat nibs. Now, the Edison stock flex nib. It's going to feel just about identical to what the regular 18 karat nib will, uh, what, what the regular 18 karat nib feels like, except because those wings are clipped, you're going to get the, the tines to lift more and you're going to get them to spread more, which means more line variation. So put very simply, this nib will feel just like 
the um, will feel just like the original or the normal 18 karat nib, but it's going to give a little bit more line variation. It also takes a little bit less pressure to exploit the flex. Okay, so. Next is the Bender Flex nibs. Now the Bender Flex nibs really are for people that are true flex aficionados. I'll be the first to admit, I don't write very well at all with a Bender Flex nib. It's so flexible that I don't have the handwriting or the skill to exploit what that nib really can do. All I can do is those neat little swirls. They're fun to play with, but I really can't write with them. So those nibs are really for people that are heavy into flex and that know how to use them. Um, I wouldn't recommend this if uh, I wouldn't recommend a, a bender flex nib if you want to write fast. You know, you really can't do that. You saw how slow I have to be and deliberate I have to be with those strokes with a bender flex nib. Um, that's because you know the, the alterations that that Richard has made to these nibs makes them a little a bit more delicate. So if you're writing fast with a bender flex nib and you you know kind of spike the upstroke and you dig the tines in, you could literally ruin the nib. So. The Bender Flex nibs are for people that are heavy into flex and that know what they're doing with flex. Uh, if, now, if you want to learn, of course, just be careful, be deliberate, that nib would be for you. I think that's a pretty good summarization of how these nibs compare and which one may be the one that you would like to use. Okay? Okay, so last topic here is price and individual nib sales. Um, pricing. Uh, many of you are already aware of this, but a stock regular 18 karat nib is going to add 100 to what would have normally been a steel nib pen. So let's say you have a Glenmont, it's 250 with a steel nib. If you want that to, to, to be an 18 karat nib instead, it becomes 350. Uh, with the Edison stock flex nibs, that's going to add 150. Now with the um, Bender flex nibs, uh, that's a little more complicated because if Richard is doing a grind to a quadruple extra fine or a needlepoint, that's more expensive than if he's just leaving it as a fine nib. So you can expect the Bender Flex nib to add anywhere from 200 to 265 to uh, what would normally be a steel nib's pen. Now, individual nib sales. Uh, we have no problem selling you 18 karat standard nibs. We also have no problem selling individual Edison stock flex nibs. If you already have an existing Edison pen and you'd like to put this uh, new Edison stock flex nib on it, no problem, 150. Now the Bender flex nibs, many of you are aware of this and we also have this on our website. We don't sell those individually uh, for a couple of reasons. Number one, Richard is mostly retired. I consider myself lucky that he's still doing this work for us. Um, you know, and, and quite frankly, if I sold individual nibs, I'd probably give him way too much volume than what he really wants to do. So our agreement uh, is that we sell them only equipped on signature line pens. So just so you know, we do not do individual nib sales of Richard Bender uh, nibs. So I think I've covered everything with this. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section of wherever you're watching this. Uh, but those are our new Edison stock flux nibs. Thanks.